are going to discuss a new lesson that is definitions of economics. In this is the lesson from unit 1 and this lesson is very important because uh, definitions of economics, there are three types of definitions of economics given by different economists. Uh, one is Adam Smith definition, another one is Marshall definition, and the last one is uh, Robbins definition. So there are three definitions we have to read, and among these three, one question will be asked in your exam, in any B exam, every uh, year, this time also, I'm sure, one will be asked. So, before we start this, first of all, we have to discuss about, uh, today's I have prepared a video from Adam Smith definition. So, uh, we have got Alfred Marshall definition, and it is also called welfare definition or neoclassical definition. We have got the next one that is Robbins definition or scarcity definition or modern definition. And the next one we are going to first start. Next one is uh, this time we are going to discuss about Adam Smith definition of economics. So the rest will be discussed in our next video. So this Adam Smith uh, was the first economist to present a systematic and he is also considered as the father of economics. Uh, and in the year 9, 1776, he published a book, An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Nature, or in short, this book is also called Wealth of the Nation. In the year 1776, before 1776, economics was not a subject. It was not an independent subject or separate subject. Before 1776, uh, economics was considered as a um, one, it was considered to be a mix up with political science. Okay, different, it was not a uh, different discipline. But after the publication in the year 1776, Adam Smith has published, had published a book called An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of the Nature. After the publication of this book, uh, before after the publication of this book, the concept of economics now became a separate discipline subject. So, because of this, his contribution, he said that economics is the science of wealth. And because of his concept, because of this book, it has changed a huge, remarkable, a remarkable change in the concept of economics. After the publication of this book, there is a, the book remains independent and the entire concept of economics has been a separate discipline. So, and we can also call this an inquiry into the nature and causes of the nature can also be mentioned in a short form that is wealth of the nation. So this wealth of the nation was, uh, was supported by many, this concept, science of wealth concept was supported by many economists like J.B. Say, J.S. Mile, F.A. Walkers, Walkers, etc. Okay, they supported the concept given by the Adam Smith. What was the concept given by the Adam Smith? That is science of wealth. Okay, they also agree. And during the period of this Adam Smith time, those whatever the economists here, they are considered to be a classical economist. So I will be teaching you, I will be telling you classical economies. Then you should remember that those economies uh, that were in the period of Adam Smith were considered to be the classical economies. So here it is Adam Smith. You can see here he is considered as the father of economics because uh, of he has changed a remarkable, he has published a book. So because of that, uh, and the next, <clears throat> is this is the book just recently we discussed about the book and you can see here the, this is the book cover okay of Adam Smith an inquiry into the nature and causes of nation this is the uh, book cover of it now we are going to discuss about the features or characteristics of wealth definition so what are the features and characteristics what are the content of wealth definition Okay, as given by Adam Smith. So sometimes what happens is that Adam instead of um, in the question they may ask you Adam Smith or sometimes they may ask you wealth also. 
So don't be get confused. Adam Smith definition and well definition is similar. So therefore, um, you should not get confused on it. Now, first one, the features or characteristics of frost. Uh, one is study of wealth. Okay, this is one of the features of Adam Smith definition. Uh, economics, uh, economics is concerned only to the study of wealth. What happened is that Adam Smith said that economics study only about the wealth. Okay, he said that wealth is the most primary important he had given during his time. Everything like the production of wealth, like it deals with production, consumption, exchange, distributions of wealth is study under uh, study under the wealth definitions. Adam Smith has clearly said that he has given more priority to wealth rather than mankind. Next one is secondary place to the study of man. See. Adam Smith had given first priority to the study of wealth and he had given the second one is the study of mankind. So this is why, okay, according to his concept, according to his book, that is wealth of the nation that we had, which we had already discussed. In the wealth of the nation, what he said was in that book, he had given more important wealth and the second he had given place to the mankind, okay. This saw so that classical, all the classical economies, as I said, the name which I had said already, J.B. Say, J.S. Mileno, they are comes from the classical economies. So they have regarded man as the means and wealth as an end. So uh, therefore, <coughs> next one is meaning of wealth. See, what he said was, he said that meaning of wealth in the sense that he discussed that uh, he discussed that this definition include material goods only, tangible goods. Especially in economies, there are two types of goods. One is material goods, another one is non-material goods. What is material goods? Material goods are those goods which can be seen or which can be touched. Such type of goods are called material goods like pen, book, pencil, gold, okay, mobile phone. All these things are comes under material material goods. So according to his concept, wealth means only material goods. But he ignores the non-material goods. See, non-material goods means like services of the teacher, services of the doctor, and so on are excluded from his concept. From this concept. So that is called meaning of wealth. Once again, I will just like to repeat: meaning of wealth means. He has given more priority to material goods only, but he ignores non-material goods like services. And the next one is the next features of economics uh, wealth definition of economic is study of economic man. See, it means that he had given more important to economic man. As we already discussed, the first definition was first uh, feature was primary important to wealth. And the second was secondary important to mankind. So what type of man, primary important of man he had given priority? He had given priority not to all men, but he had given priority to economic man. Economic man means those men or person who is after, who is always after the wealth. Okay. All the time, he does those type of person all the time he thinks about how to earn more wealth, how to bring more uh, money, how to earn more, uh, how to um, collect every materials. Such type of persons are considered to be an economic man. Such a man is called economic who always think about earning more and more wealth at any cost and by any means. So such type of man is called economic man. So therefore, Adam Smith said that Adam Smith concept of economic study only about economic man. Next one is investigation of the causes of wealthy. According to his book, Wealth of the Nation, that is in short, Wealth of the Nation, he had given more important to wealth as we know that. Yes or no? Therefore, most of the time he said that how to collect investigation means Inquiry, okay, how to make more inquiry means he is always after the wealth. Increase, how wealth can be increased? Yeah, he is investigating. He, according to his concept,
concept. Okay, investigations of all this. How can a well be made? How can the production level can be increased? Okay, only thinking about how he can earn more wealth again and again by production of material goods and all. Okay, he, that, this concept always search about how to get more and more, uh, more and more wealth. Okay, so uh, it means that investigation of the causes of wealth in the sense that earning more and more. How can, from where can earn wealth be earned? What are the method of earning wealth can be uh, investigated, okay, can always have the concept of that. How wealth can be earned, from where it can be earned, type of things can be investigated by this, his concept. So, the next one is, we are just recently, we have concluded, features of economy, features of wealth, uh, wealth definition. So as I said already, I will just go recapitulation of what we did uh, once again for that because that is very important. First one is he has given he has given primary importance to wealth, secondary to mankind. He uh, to study about the concept of economics man and investigations of the wealth, how the wealth can be earned. Okay, and now we will discuss about criticisms of wealth definition. Criticism means. Okay, uh, no, that concept is not good. Yeah, so criticisms in the sense that uh, to make boycott about the things that are made by the Adam Smith. So criticisms of this definition. Now we are going to discuss about the first criticism is that word definition is the narrow meaning. It has narrow meaning. Narrow means means not a broad. Okay, it has got narrow meaning of word. So in, in the sense that, why it become narrow concept, Adam Smith definition? Narrow in the sense that, he had given more importance only to tangible goods, material goods. He has excluded, he had excluded non-material goods. Therefore, um, what happened is that, therefore his concept became narrow. So in the modern economics, modern economics, at present economics, economics should contain both material goods as well as non-material goods. Economics should study both material and non-material goods. But what happened is that Adam Smith had ignored non-material goods like services, like uh, patents, okay, like uh, goodwill and all. He had completely forgot about those things and give priority to only material things. Therefore, he was criticized by some of the economists like Marshall. Example is Marshall. Marshall had criticized him on that basis. Therefore, his concept of wealth became narrow. Wealth does not only include, in other words, wealth does not only include material goods, but it also includes non-material goods. Therefore, it became narrow concept. Now, next one is undue importance to wealth. Undue importance to wealth means he had given more importance to wealth, okay? More importance to more means, okay, it has got some importance, but not more important. He said everything is wealth. Adam Smith said everything is wealth. Yes or no? Therefore, every man is the center of wealth, he said. But it is uh, just a uh, wrong. But there should be, what should be there? Not only wealth should be given more importance. Better than wealth, there should be human welfare should be there. Human welfare is missing in his definition. Therefore, he was criticized. Unrealistic concept of economic man. See, we talk about economic man, a man who is always after the wealth, searching for the wealth. Such type of men are called economic man. But in reality, there is no such economic man present in the world. Okay, so every human beings, human beings are the social animals. Social animals in the sense that we totally depend upon our society. We have love, we need love, we need affection, we need uh, caring, and so on we need. Yes or no? Therefore, this definition is totally a baseless. It is unrealistic. In reality, uh, economic man, such type of economic man does not exist. Therefore, it was badly criticized by 
some of the economies. Next one is narrow subject matter of economics. Okay, confined only of economics to the study of wealth, which is very narrow. The subject matter of economics should be study of economic welfare of the society. See, uh, it means that this subject is a narrow subject matter because it has given only importance to wealth. But it should be, welfare should be there. Welfare is completely missing. Okay, welfare means well-being to the society, love, affection, this, this thing should be there. Therefore, this concept became narrow subject matter. Therefore, it was criticized. Next one is neglect of economic welfare. Economic welfare is also missing here. Why economic um, welfare is missing means the person is always after the earning of wealth. So economic concept is missing in this case. In the sense that uh, at present you can see the corporate houses, the business or so on, or the organization, business organization, you can see that there are people are after earning, um, they also earn, they also do profit maximization, earning profit is one part, on the other hand, they also do humanitarian helps and all, humanitarian help in the sense that people go and they donate the money for the needy people and all, so that is economic welfare, so such things are missing in the concept of Adam Smith definition. So thank you so much. And uh, one thing is that if you have any problems, you can uh, send the message in the Facebook, our school Facebook page. And also remember, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.